think I don't Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Hope you're doing awesome. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a crochet method buzz braid. So if you want to see and know how to shift this hairstyle, please keep watching. So right here, I'm starting my section of the, uh, the hair for the first braid on the back. So after that, I'm going to take my hair wax and lay down the hair on the back. The hair is on the back. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my comb and comb through the hair. Make sure it's tangle free. So in order to hide my own natural hair under the braiding, uh, braiding hair extension, I'm going ahead to braid each section for the buzz braid. So this will allow me to hide the hair so I'll have control over it. So for these buzz braids, I use six pack of your know, AliExpress braiding hair, and also I have a video on how I prepped and stretched the hair. So the the link to that video will be in the description box. So be sure to check it out. So now for the crochet braiding of the the hair was too big for the crochet braid, so I went ahead and divide the hair for each braid into two. Then right now I'm working with one piece of the hair first and just pass the crochet hole through the braid and then pull the hair past it through. This time we're only gonna pull one end of the um, of the hair through the braid, just like that. And after that you wanna go ahead and adjust the length, make sure it's the same length from the bottom. So right now I'm going ahead to uh, install the second one. Doing the same thing right here, moving the, uh, the first one out of the way. So both the hair passes through and also doing the same thing we're only gonna pull one end of the um, of the braiding hair through. So now that that is done for the braiding part right here the, the I'm splitting the one on top into two those are the two small uh, piece of hair so on the bottom the bottom one is the double one so the double one on the bottom is the one that I'm going to be adding with my hair so my hair will be on the bottom one so that will that's enough hair to um to wrap around my own natural hair to be able to hide the uh the, the color so right here to do that you want to rotate your hair under the braiding hair extension so that will keep the hair under and keep it hidden while braiding the hair so you want to make sure every time you get to that part you want to make sure to use a fingers to rotate your own natural hair under the extension just as I did in this video. Yep, just uh, rotate it like that under and continue to braid the hair. So you want to keep doing, repeating the same thing until you braid all the way past where your hair where your hair ends. And also you want to focus on the uh, the ends of the hair of the ends of your natural hair because that can be a little tricky. Alright, let's talk about the color of this hair. You don't have to use the same hair color I used in this video. You can use any color of your choice, but if you like the color, you can definitely go ahead and use it. So for me, I love the color, especially the, the, the fact that it's ombre hair color. It's really great. So yeah, so right now I'm going ahead to focus on the ends of my hair, making sure I hide it under the, uh, the braiding hair. So now that that is done, I'm just going ahead to uh, braid the hair all the way to my desired length before going ahead to tie the knots on the bottom. So once you braid it to your desired length to the point where you want your braid to stop and where you want where you want the uh, the coils to start, you want to go ahead and tie a knot to secure it. So that will keep the braids in place while you work on the uh, the rest of the hair. So right here, this is the last braid, so I'm repeating the same thing. I start by splitting the hair into two, so right now I'm working with the first piece of hair. So also repeating the same thing, hook the hair passes through the braid, and then pull one end of the, of the hair through the braid. And we want to go ahead and also adjust the line, make sure it's the same length on the bottom.
So also doing the same thing, just that on this part is a bit different. My hair is going to be on the top one and the one on the bottom is the one I'm splitting into two. So the one on the top is the one I'm going to be using to well, hide my natural hair. That's the one I'll wrap around my natural hair color in order to well, hide it. So, but first you want to make sure you have a firm grip on the roots of the hair before well, thinking of hiding the, uh, the natural hair color. Once you have that firm grip on the roots of the hair, then you can go ahead and uh, retain your natural hair under the uh, braiding hair extension. So that will help to hide the, na your natural hair color. So just doing the same thing every time you get to the um, to that part, you want to make sure to retain your hair underneath. So make sure your uh, natural hair color is under the braiding hair extension. So yeah, so you want to repeat the same thing we did on the first braid, braid all the way to the uh, to your desired length and go ahead and tie a knot to secure the braids in place. So doing the same thing, once to braid the hair out the way to your desired length, you want to go ahead and uh, uh, tie a knot to secure the braid in place before going ahead to uh, coil it. So here is the finished result before coiling the tip of the hair. So to coil the tip of the hair, I went ahead and uh, put the hair into three ponytails, one on the back and two on the front. So this will help to uh, make sure that the, the braids are all to the same length when it comes to coiling the, uh, the hair. So before coiling it, I went ahead and combed the tip of the hair to make sure it's uh, tangle free. So right now I'm going ahead to wrap it around the flesh around. So to wrap it around, you want to twist and wrap, twist and wrap it around. That will give you the tight coils on the bottom and really nice defined coils on the bottom of the hair. So once you're done wrapping it around the flexi rod, this is all done. I've wrapped all the hair around the flexi rod. So next, you want to go ahead and dip it into a uh, hot boiled water. Make sure you have towels with you. One, you need two towels for this process. You need one to put over your shoulder and the other one to dry off the excess water. I only use one in this video just because I'm used to this, so I know how to control the hair without burning myself. So once that is done, the next step is to unravel the uh, the coils. And after unraveling them, you want to go ahead and uh, grab the scissors and cut uh, cut off the uh, the tip of the hair. Cut it off and unravel the coils. So once you're done unraveling all the coils, you want to go ahead and let the hair air dry. So here is the finished result of this buzz braid. So I hope you all uh, enjoyed this video if you do please not forget to give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one